In .NET application, when you have an interface, you need to register on what the implementation will be. And you cannot change that implementation when you are consuming that service using dependency injection. But that is no longer the case in .NET 8. Now you can register multiple implementation for the same service using a key value and then using dependency injection, you can specify what implementation you want to use for that block of code. My name is Brugin and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you are notified of new features in .NET and many more exciting videos in the .NET domain. Back to the main topic. .NET has introduced keyed services in .NET 8. Because of that, we will be dynamically able to toggle or select the implementation that we want in project. Sometimes you have multiple implementation for the same interface and you might want to use one implementation in one part of the code and something else in the other part. Now that's possible with .NET 8. We will explore that with an example. Let me go back to Visual Studio and create a new project. It will be an MVC project. Let me call that keyed service. It will be a .NET 8 project. Looks good. Let me create that. Now first thing that we have to do is we need to create a service in our project. Let me add a service folder here. And inside there, we will add an interface here. I will call that I storage service. In that interface, let me create a method void and upload data. Now let's assume this is a fake service. In the parameter here, we will have some data and we want to upload that. When we upload that, hypothetically speaking, you can think of that as an image and we need to upload that either on cloud server or on local machine, depending on some situation. So let me implement that service. First implementation will be cloud storage service. And that will implement the I storage service. Implement that. Let's assume we will have some logic here. But for testing, we can console.writeline data upload it to cloud. Let me copy this and we will add one more service. That will be local storage service. Let me paste that. Let me paste that here. And we will say data upload it to local machine. Perfect. Looks good. We are not using the parameter here, but that's okay. So we have interface and we have to implementation of that interface. Previously, what we had to do is when we register services in our project, right here, we had to say builder.services.addScope. The interface will be iStorage service and we have to predefine what will be the implementation. It can either be cloud storage service or local storage service. But with keyed service or named services, we have an option. What we can do is we can have both the implementation, but provide different key for both of them. So rather than add scoped, we have something new called as add keyed scoped. And then we have to give it a key name. Right here, it's a cloud storage. Let me use that name as cloud service. That will be the key for implementation of cloud storage service. Now for the local storage service, we can give it a name of local service. I see an error here. Let me see local storage service. And I forgot the I storage service. Perfect. So now you can see we have two implementation that we have registered in our services. The cloud storage service has a key name of cloud service and local storage service has a key of local service. Then when we have to consume that, 
we can use the key name here to tell which service we want. Let me do that in the home controller. Let's say in the index action here, we want the local service. We will say from keyed services here and we need the key name. Let me go back here. I will copy the local service here to avoid any spelling mistake and paste that. The interface is iStorage service. Let me add that and call that storage service. When we have to invoke the method here, we can say storage service dot upload data and pass some fake data. Copy and paste that in the privacy action method, but there we will use the different key that is cloud service. Let me copy that and perfect. With that, you can see in index we are using the local service implementation, but in privacy page we are using cloud service. Let me run the application and see if that works. We are logging that and I have the console window open, the home page loaded. If I go back, you can see data uploaded to local machine. Then if I navigate to privacy here, perfect. You can see it says data uploaded to cloud. That way it is changing the implementation. And that is exactly what we want. Another thing that you can do is based on environment, you can toggle what is the implementation. Let me show that. Let me remove this and let me remove this as well. If I go back to program.cs here, along with keyed service, we can implement builder.services.addscoped and what we want is environment. We can say e goes to and then we need to retrieve the environment that is e dot get required service. In order to get the environment, we will need the iHosting environment. And here, let me add the correct using statement because we have two of them. And then we want to retrieve the key name. So we will say variable key is equal to env dot is development. If it is development, Let's say we want local service. If it is anything other than development, we want the implementation of cloud service. We will return back e dot. We have the get required service, but we want the keyed service. We will say get required keyed service. Interface is iStorage service and we will pass the key name. That way dynamically based on the environment, it will provide the correct implementation. Right now with this key, in development, we should get local service. Let's take a look here. And right here where we have the iStorage service, we will have to inject that in dependency injection here. Let me do private read only iStorage service and underscore storage service is equal to storage service. It will be underscore here. Let me fix that. And perfect. Let me run the application and see if that works. Perfect. Let me open the console window. And there we have local machine. Even if we go to privacy here, it will be local machine because we are on the dev environment. So that way you can see there are multiple ways to use the keyed services that have been introduced with .NET 8. But you must be careful. Even though the feature is great, you must be cautious on when, on when you should use them. Also right here I am using magic string, but I would avoid magic string and maybe have some constant variable. You can use that for multiple examples like one payment, let's say you want to implement a service for PayPal and the other one for Stripe. That way you can have different implementation for the same interface and based on your requirement, you can toggle that. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the free video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already to get more content like this.